In the beginning of 2022, Figwarts released an underwhelming figure that is Kefla. It's a good strategy, I guess. Because when you already hit rock bottom early on, there's nowhere else to go from there but up. This is my subjective take on Kefla. No offense to those who dig this figure. Let's see why I think Kefla is a mess. But before that, let's check out what she comes with. Only three faces. Vane is tidy, no misspaints, matte finish. Three pairs of hands, a crossed arm, and three individual. Not bad. Two types of effects. A gigantic burst pair and a key ball, all glossy finished. The hands on gigantic burst cannot be removed. Faces are somehow accurate. Skin tone is flat flesh, typical DB girls. Hair is smooth, no rough spots, bright green, semi-gloss finished. Open mouth is sculpted, the earrings are glossy metallic green, tidily painted. Now let's see what went wrong. The hair. These are some reference of Kefla from the anime. I can see that her hair is similar to Trunks or Broly. But then, they made her bangs stick to her face. What's up with that? Why didn't they make it like Trunks or Broly? The body. Kefla is muscular. She is a girl, but she is muscular. These are some reference images of Kefla. I think now you know what's wrong with her. Her arms are no bigger than Bulma or Lunch. Deltoids should be bigger. And look at the smooth legs. The biggest offense is they gave her the body of a kid. Let me explain. If you compare these three DB girls, they are of the same scale. Kefla's is unusually void and flat. The problem is, Lunch and Bulma is using classic Dragon Ball scale, while Kefla should be in Dragon Ball Z scale. And even in DB classic scale, Kefla's body is still too short. Comparing with the androids, which is of DBC scale, Kefla's face is obviously a lot bigger. Now, we know Kefla has two problems, big head and short body. So how exactly I imagine Kefla should have been? Let's play. Get a photo of the fig warts. Open a reference image from the comic. You'll see that proportions differs a lot. Select the body. Resize it based on guidelines. Looks okay, but we're not done yet. Still need to fix the leg length since the angle is different. Now select the legs. and stretch them a bit. Now we've got the correct proportions according to the comic. Let's put her in the lineup to fix the scale as well. Erase the original. Paste the modified Kefla. Resize it roughly. Clean up a bit. Kefla is about as tall as Bulma and Goku's chest. Yup, seems correct now. Compare with the original. Let's erase Bulma and put them side by side. There you go. Looking much better now in my opinion. So, how about build quality?
untidy seam lines. Her waist could scratch her thigh. She has defective joint on her left knee. Her left knee is ugly when bent. The right arm on mine is very loose. It's easily dislodged when I try to pose it. I hope it's only my copy. Head is standard ball joint. No neck articulations. Shoulder joint is tight. Backward rotate is stiff. I'm worried I might break the butterfly joint. No biceps joint. Typical DB girls. Single hinge elbow. Standard wrist bag. Torso is very stiff. Going forward, backward, left, and right. Waist is the same as torso. Rotating is stiff. Thigh is acceptable. No backward range. Knee is single hinge. Ankle is good, peg and hinge. Toe is standard. Please be careful when handling the effects. They're rigid and pointy sharp. You might either break the tip or pierce yourself if you're reckless. Don't buy her. Enough said. Just like Hit last year, she might end up being the biggest flop in Figuarts history. I didn't pre-order her, and I got her at $70, not even a month after release. I'd say $40 is the most if you must have her. At this point, I can't help but think that the Figuarts team behind DB Super Characters is trying to sabotage their own products. Okay, that's it friends. If you like my videos, please support me by sharing, pressing like, and subscribe so I can continue making great videos for you. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.